Hey guys, wanted to make a quick video on hypoxia on the USMLE. This is a very important respiratory cardiology as well as gen path tie-in. Now, when we're thinking about hypoxia, remember that that is going to be defined as low oxygen delivery to the tissue. Now, hypoxia could be caused by hypoxemia. Hypoxemia is low oxygen in the blood. The USMLE wants you to know what are the three components of arterial oxygen in the blood? Because if your arterial oxygen in the blood is going to be low, you are going to have hypoxemia that could lead downstream to tissue hypoxia. Now, arterial oxygen content is going to be related to three things. Hemoglobin, saturation, and your dissolved oxygen in your blood, which is your P little a O2. Remember that oxygen is the last electron transport chain acceptor. So if you are going to have no oxygen, you're going to have low ATP. The only ATP that you'll have are those that are going to come from minor cell processes like glycolysis. No oxygen also means that they can sneak in the question for lactic acidosis, which causes a anion gap metabolic acidosis, and they can give you the lab values and electrolytes that suggest that. Top USMLE vignettes that are going to lead to hypoxia, remember, anything that decreases oxygen delivery. So your low EF patient in congestive heart failure, anemia, remember your hemoglobin will be low there, and from a gen path perspective, low ATP means your sodium potassium ATPase doesn't work, and you are going to get cellular swelling, which is going to be a hallmark sign of cell injury. I hope this helps.